larger and ambitious. We now have the message from a global visionary leader, whose ideas, whose thoughts, whose vision of uh, global good and welfare for all are highly looked up to and well regarded and respected by the global community and the world leaders. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, our visionary Prime Minister, Prime Minister Modi, has sent across his good wishes and his uh, message for this forward thinking and solution oriented cafe. If you can have the message of the Honorable Prime Minister. Thank you very much. Scientists and innovators, industry leaders, and my dear friends, I send my warm greetings to all of you. It is a pleasure to welcome you to the second international conference on green hydrogen. Friends, the world is going through a crucial transformation. There is a growing realization that climate change is not just a matter of the future. The impact of climate change is being felt here and now. The time for action is also here and now. Energy transition and sustainability have become central to global policy discourse. Friends, India is committed towards creating cleaner and greener planet. We were the first among G20 nations to fulfill our Paris commitments on green energy. These commitments were fulfilled nine years ahead of the target of 2030. India's installed non-fossil fuel capacity increased nearly 300% in the last 10 years. Our solar energy capacity increased over 3,000% in the same period. But we are not resting on these achievements. We remain focused on strengthening existing solutions. We are also looking at new and innovative areas. This is where green hydrogen comes into the picture. Friends, green hydrogen is emerging as a promising addition to the world's energy landscape. It can help in decarbonizing industries that are difficult to electrify. Refineries, fertilizer, steel, heavy duty transportation, many such sectors will benefit. Green hydrogen can also act as a storage solution for surplus renewable energy. India has already launched the National Green Hydrogen Mission in 2023. We want to make India a global hub for the production, utilization, and export of green hydrogen. The National Green Hydrogen Mission is giving an impetus to innovation, infrastructure, industry, and investment. We are investing in cutting-edge research and development. Partnerships between industry and academia are being formed. Startups and entrepreneurs who are working in this domain are being encouraged. There is also a great potential for a green jobs ecosystem to develop. 
to enable this, we are also working on skill development for our youth in this sector. Friend, climate change and energy transition are global concerns. Our answers also need to be global in nature. International partnership is critical for promoting green hydrogen impact on decarbonization. Scaling up production, minimizing costs, and building infrastructure can happen faster through cooperation. We also need to jointly invest in research and innovation to push technology further. In September 2023, the G20 summit happened in India. In this summit, there was a special focus on green hydrogen. The new Delhi G20 leaders declaration adopted five high-level voluntary principles on hydrogen. These principles are helping us in the creation of unified roadmap. All of us must remember the decisions we make now will decide the life of our future generation. Friends, in such a crucial sector, it is important for domain actors to lead the way and work together. Particularly, I urge the global scientific community to come together to explore various aspects. Scientists and innovators can suggest changes in public policy to help the green hydrogen sector. There are also many questions that the scientific community can look into. Can we improve the efficiency of electrolyzers and other components in green hydrogen production? Can we explore the use of sea water and municipal waste water for production? How can we enable the use of green hydrogen in public transport, shipping, and inland waterways? And pulling such topics together will greatly help green energy transition across the world. I am confident that this conference will help the exchange of many ideas on such issues. Friends, humanity has faced many challenges in the past. Each time. We overcame adversities through solutions that were collective and innovative. In the same spirit of the collective and innovative action that will guide us towards the sustainable future. We can achieve anything when we are together. Let us work to accelerate the development and deployment of green hydrogen. Once again, I send my best wishes to everyone involved in the second international conference on green hydrogen.